everyone, Dr. D here. I'm just out for my walk, my daily walk, and uh, I figured this is a good time to talk to you a little bit about cellular respiration. Uh, you know, I'm respiring right now, I'm breathing in air, getting that nice oxygen, and then breathing out CO2, a lot of CO2, and uh, what an exhale. So what's that all about, and why have we had to breathe since we were born? Have you ever thought about that? You know, think about it, you've had to breathe since the moment you were born, you've had to breathe. And have you ever stopped to wonder why? Um, well, it has everything to do with cellular respiration. This is the process by which your body breaks down sugars and fats to make ATP energy, okay? Um, your cells can't use sugars and fats directly for energy. If your cells want to do something and they need energy to do it, they use this molecule called ATP. They don't use sugar directly. They don't use fats directly. So what you need to do is get sugars and get fats in your diet, all right? And when you get those sugars and fats in your body, it is then your mitochondria's job to break those sugars and fats down to get ATP. So you're converting the energy in the sugars and fats. That chemical energy is being converted to ATP energy, okay? And that's good because your body needs that ATP to run. And this is why you need oxygen. This is why you're breathing. Oxygen is required for, for cellular respiration. And a product of cellular respiration is CO2 and water. So it is literally the reason you breathe. The reason you're breathing right now is cellular respiration. Why? Because it requires oxygen and it produces CO2 and water. And have you ever noticed when you breathe out, you're breathing out more CO2 than you breathe in? That's because your body produces CO2 from that sugar. The sugar actually becomes oxidized to CO2. And you also produce some water, which you also breathe out a lot of that, and you also urinate out a lot of that. So think about this for a second. If you didn't need cellular respiration, wow, it's storming. It's getting stormy. If you didn't need cellular respiration, you literally wouldn't need to breathe, right? Because that's the whole reason you have lungs. That's the whole reason you've got hemoglobin, right? That's the whole reason you have red blood cells. It's amazing to think about, but it's true. Um, you wouldn't need to breathe. You wouldn't need lungs. You wouldn't have to breathe every day if you didn't need cellular respiration. That's why it's so important to study cell respiration, to understand cell respiration, because it's literally vital to life. All right, so I hope this helps. You know, I'm gonna go into some videos that explain cellular respiration in detail, but now you know why it's so important, because without it, you're not living. All right, uh, thanks again for watching. Please leave a comment, question, like below, and uh, see you soon. Bye.